welcome back to this table. Thank you. You were just here doing an AMA. I was, but where you're sitting. <laughs> with our Discord community. That's right. How did that go? It was good. It was such a long time since I had really interacted with the community, so it was good to be sort of addressing their questions, you know, directly. And it went really well, I think. It was well received. Yeah, that seemed like it was. And now you're back here to talk a little bit about what Stronghold's been up to lately. I am. Like one of the things was, for example, Tammy was speaking at an event in Vegas, mm -hmm. the FinTech meetup. That's right. And there she was on the panel and met with some partners. She did. I actually saw a picture of her with one of our key partners, David. I recall I was actually on a panel with him as well recently, so we're We've sort of been really accelerating what we've been doing with, with some of the partners like him recently. Um, I think the panel was on cash management, which is super relevant right now with how the economy is going and really, you know, being able to provide access to all sorts of financial services for the different merchants that we, that we have. Um, so really great to be working more with him. Um, quite a few other sort of panels and podcasts I've been doing recently. Some, you know, more related to our merchants, some more related to blockchain in general. I think the last one I did was with, on the Finnovators podcast, which was a bit more blockchain focused. And I gave some predictions on what might happen in the crypto space. And it's interesting to see some of those play out a little. So I'm feeling vindicated there. But uh, no, that's been great to be engaging with, you know, sort of both sides of the industries that we touch. And speaking of podcasts, mm -hmm. we're releasing a podcast and it's basically our fireside chat moving on to podcast version and our episode one season two is with josh felser second season nice of climactic great he was chosen because stronghold has invested in climactic we did as a part of stronghold capital we did yeah as a fund we're really focused on really investing in the technologies that help companies go green so one of the things Josh was mentioning in the interview is that he wanted companies to be aware of their environmental impact. Mm. And that's something we think about here at Stronghold. Absolutely. It's impacted quite a few of the decisions we've made. I think one of the major ones, which is really relevant for the crypto space in particular, is the choice of sort of protocol that you're built on, because some of them are really energy intensive, which I, I think we've you know spoken to before. but. We're glad to be building SHX on a protocol that has a much lower environmental impact than most of the protocols out there. Great. So moving on to exciting stuff, product updates, and those are exciting for our merchant, but also for their accounting teams. That's right. We have more detailed settlement updates. And what does that mean? For the accounting teams and the bookkeeping teams at our merchants, often an audience that I don't think gets much love from a product point of view um, in the fintech space, we're giving them more and more detailed reports so that they can better track where the money is essentially, right? Because for our merchants, they've got multiple software tools in place. They have multiple payment methods, right? Stronghold provides both ACH, wire, card payments, depending on the industry and the customer. So, you know, they've got a lot of inflows and outflows of, of funds that are moving around and they might have different speeds at which all these funds go. So actually tracking a dollar from a customer using it in a sale all the way through processing and then actually to a bank account at the end of the day, when you've also got refunds and other things going on in the mix, it's actually really difficult. So providing as much information as we can and trying to stitch all those different pieces together, that's what we've improved uh, a lot this quarter. That's great. Great news. Yeah. And then we also have one that's more customer facing. That's right. Which is promotions. Tell me a little bit about that. We've been working on this one for quite a while. And I think for us, it really represents sort of step one in a strategy that I think will take the year to play out. And I, I spoke a little bit about this in the, in the AMA, and that is let's get more tools for our merchants to be able to interact directly with that end consumer other than just accepting payments, right? So now we're starting off by saying, okay, like let's incentivize users to use the stronghold payment methods. Maybe, you know, we want them to sign up. So we might have like, hey, you, you get $10 off your first order if you sign up and pay through stronghold. And then the merchant and us can work on a promotion. Um, our team can put that through the automated system. And, and now the, the end consumer is seeing that promotion automatically in the payment system. Now that we've got that sort of front end built out for the end customer, we can start building more and more products on top of that. And so that leads into what we're really excited about for the rest of the year. 
Awesome. During the AMA, you talked a little bit about Stronghold Net, and uh, that was really exciting for everybody to hear about. Tell me a little bit about the plan for that for this year. What's on the horizon? Yeah, good question. So for Stronghold Net, that promotions piece that I've just referred to really leads into a lot of the Stronghold Net functionality that we want to deploy this year. And the big one really is expansion of the rewards program. And we've spoken quite a bit about that and how that impacts the merchant side. But now that we're you know getting to that end consumer more and more, we want to be able to empower them with a rewards program. And that's where SHX to the end consumer comes in as well. So super excited to see how that plays out. I think that another really big piece is continuing to expand the merchant financing program. And, you know, with the economy the way it is, it's even harder than before to access capital. So finding ways to strengthen our ability to underwrite those, you know, advances is really important for us. So getting deeper and deeper into that DeFi side to be able to to get capital contributors on boarded. And, you know, that sort of is a good segue into um, how we're introducing SHX into some of the fee mechanisms there. And that's where we have that first governance vote in- involved, right? In terms of letting the community now vote with their SHX on how those fees are applied, right? Because we're, we're thinking about burning some tokens versus having them go back to the capital contributors. So that's a huge step forward and I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays out um, in Q4. Awesome. I bet a lot of people are excited about these developments. I'm going to let you get back to work, but it was really good talking to you. Thank you, Sean. Thanks very much, Edna.